Hello from Mexico City. So I've gotten a lot of tattoos in my life, but never one in Mexico, so today is the day. I traveled about 30 minutes from Palanco to this neighborhood to a tattoo studio called Estudio 2019, Studio 2019. I really was hoping that a bilingual friend could come join me to help translate the nitty gritty details, but nobody was able to, so I'm going to do it on my own. Si se puede. <laughs> and today I'm going to be getting my tattoo with Doris. So I found this studio by just searching for pictures on Instagram, but her work is awesome, so I'm very excited to get this tattoo. Gracias. Gracias, gracias por venir y un gusto atenderte. Okay, entonces, um, quiero algo casi así. Okay. Uh, un poco diferente que esta foto porque no quiero replicar exactamente un tatuaje que okay. alguien ya tiene. Okay. Um, pero sí, algo, algo así o quizás con pocas diferentes hojas. Um, quiero que las hojas, um, no sé cómo que explico, siguen la forma de mi pierna. pierna okay. ¿Sí? Uh, y sí, creo que es todo. Ok. Uh, me mandas este esta me mandas esta foto a okay. uh, WhatsApp. Y este primero vamos a ponerte el stencil, ¿vale? Ok. El stencil nada más vamos a poner este. Sí. Y después de ahí sacamos las plantas y las voy acomodando. Ok, pero creo que son las hojas son um, demasiado cerradas y sí. después de tiempo uh, va, se junta. Sí, Ajá. y no quiero eso. Ok. <risa> Entonces si hacemos algo así, quizás yo. más espacio entre sí, las hojas. Sí, yo creo que se vería mejor porque este no se expandiría la tinta conforme el tiempo. Sí. Entonces sí hay que separarlo un poquito, más que nada por el tamaño. Ajá. Como es algo un poquito chico, entonces para que se haya espacio para meter la sombrita. Ok. Ok. Sí. Um, quiero que una hoja um, sube así y la otra aquí y más o menos um, flor aquí, pero más que, sí, más así, porque quiero uh, flor arriba de mi zapato, de la línea de mi okay. zapato, y la hoja puede uh, bajar. Ok. Sí, está bien. Sí, sí está perfecto. Okay. Muy bien. Vale. Te vas a acostar, se podría decir que te vas a acostar de ladito, okay. así, ¿vale? Ah, okay. Y te voy a emplayar uh -huh. la pierna. Ok. ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Arizona. Ok. Sí. ¿Y tú? Está aquí, en México, sí. aquí es. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Así? ¿Cómo lo ves? Sí. Un poquito así. Uh, sí. ¿No? Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Qué es? Es, es, es. es este para transferir el stencil. Ah, es para okay. transferir el diseño. Ah, oh, ok. Aquí duele un poco. Ok. Sí. Sí. No? Okay. Okay. I do believe we're just about to get started. She placed the stencil on there to put the design and we're waiting for that ink to dry and then we're gonna for real ink it. <laughs> Se llama. Ok. Gracias. that the ones on your feet are particularly painful. She's doing that little bone on the outside of the foot, and yes, it is very painful. <laughs> this is not a massage. Oh my gosh. So we're almost done with the bottom half of the leaves, and my goodness, do some of these parts hurt like a son of a biscuit. Like on the bone, and this part is like on my heel. Woo. And now she's starting on the marigold part of this tattoo and I should probably at this point explain why am I getting this tattoo right now. 
In case you didn't catch the wordplay for my channel name, it's called Maddie Gold because it's kind of a play on the pronunciation of Marigold, the way that a Spanish speaker would say it. They'd say it more like Maddie Gold, therefore Maddie Gold. And I thought, what better time to sort of commemorate, honor the beginning of this new chapter where I'm starting Maddie Gold as my main thing, my main venture, the only thing, than with a tattoo like this. Now I believe we are about 50% done with the flower and it's looking really good. I am surprised though at how much of a range there is on the pain of this tattoo. Like some places I'm like, oh, this is, you know, piece of cake. It's tolerable and then other places I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so now the flower is done and we're moving on to the other leaf. I was having a little bit of difficulty explaining that I kind of wanted it to have a curve but Doris is very, very patient, so I drew it on my phone. Um, like I took a picture of the tattoo and I drew a little curve on my phone, and then we drew a little line on here, and now we're gonna get started. Something else interesting about this tattoo versus some others that I've gotten is my leg muscles will wanna jump and like twitch, and she'll like hit a nerve or graze the bone a little bit, which has been interesting. I'm like, keep it calm, keep it calm, because that could be disastrous if it twitches in the middle of a stroke. Finally, she's adding just a little bit more yellow to the tips of the petals so it super pops, it's super vibrant. And then, final result! I'm so excited to see it. Okay, we're done, so the final reveal! <laughs> So basically she's gonna wrap it up for now because well in my experience uh, the tattoo will like fill up with plasma or well the plasma comes to the surface and then also because with the placement um, it would be rubbing up against my shoes so that's probably gonna be the hardest part of the healing process. The reason I actually came to Mexico City in the first place is to meet up with these guys. This is Erica and Jesus. Erica who you can kind of see right now. <laughs> uh, they were like, hey, we're here for the Loud Music Festival, you should come. And at the very last minute, I booked a flight in an Airbnb and like traveled out here. So now Erica is getting a tattoo and hers is going to be of an agave. It's looking amazing so far. How are you feeling? Great. Oh, dude, that looks so good. You like it? Yes, it's so beautiful. Look at it. Yes. Oh my gosh, I like it. It's a perfect spacing with your other ones too. Look at those details. No. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's super swollen. I can tell. Uh, it's <laughs> it's like, in, yeah. You yeah. Can see it. It's like raised. Ooh, now it's getting sensitive. <laughs> yes! It's a question because my sapatos are... Ah, alto. Yes. And it's good with sapatos? Yes, it's good with sapatos. No, you have to do it free. So, the humidity, the sweat, can cause infection. Okay. So, it's free so that the air pegue and cicatrice bien. Okay. Okay, Okay. so in the end, my tattoo cost 2,200 pesos and yours was almost a mil pesos. About a thousand. A thousand so pesos. I feel like that's a really good price. It's a really good price and for her work. Way cheaper than I would have paid for this size of tattoo in the US. Yep, my whole piece was done in what, 40 minutes maybe? Yeah, that was super yeah. quick. She's and incredible. Line work is good. Yeah, and she's super mm. patient. Spanish she does. That <laughs> helped a lot. So I think I'm gonna do like a final review in a few days once the swelling has gone down and everything because it looks kind of like I have a broken ankle right now from all the trauma. But so far, I really love it. And I, I'm really digging I'm these too. I'm obsessed with mine. Yeah. It is exactly one week and one day since I got that tattoo. 
and I wish I had better news to share. So the healing process has been absolutely horrendous. I have never been in so much pain after getting a tattoo to the point where I wince and cringe every time I put my foot down to walk. Even when I've been keeping it elevated to try to reduce the insane amount of swelling, I'm still in excruciating pain. And this is with taking occasionally a leave. Hasn't really worked, hasn't done much. So finally, I decided to text Doris because as of yesterday, it started developing these really thick scabs, something I have never before seen on a tattoo. Even though it looks like it's infected, I don't think it is because it's not oozing, it's not bleeding, there's not red around it, it's not severely raised up. As I shared in the beginning, I have plenty all over my body, including a massive color piece on my back. And even in that case where they're going over it very thick with color and shading, never seen anything like this. So I text Doris and her response is, that's way too dry, you haven't been moisturizing it enough, and it looks like you've spent a lot of time in the sun. So she goes immediately to blaming me for the situation without asking any questions at all. I have not spent time in the sun because I understand that I can damage a new tattoo. I have been moisturizing it multiple times a day and keeping it clean with unscented soap. All the things that you're supposed to do for a tattoo in recovery. The messages between us go back and forth, back and forth, where I'm trying to explain that I've been in a lot of pain and therefore I've been icing it, to which she basically says, oh, then this is all your fault because you're not supposed to ice it because that causes the tattoo to be wet. That's bad, it's gonna cause scarring, it's gonna look horrible. And I'm sitting here thinking, well, that's interesting because I looked many websites to see what to do for a tattoo that's so swollen because my foot was looked like a potato. I've never ever seen a swelling that prominent on my body ever for even broken bones that I've had. Here's my ankle bone, right? Here's the little dip that I would normally have. Did you see the difference here already? Like right there to here in the size of my ankles? There is no dip. That, where the leaf is, is where the dip would be. And look, look how swollen. Again, she didn't ask, hey, did you cover it before you put the ice pack on? And it wasn't an ice pack that would cause condensation either. But in any case, I did. I put plastic between my leg and the ice pack and that's really all that's been helping the swelling stay at bay, I think. So at this point in the healing, it looks horrible. Some parts, the scabs have come off a little bit or they didn't develop as thick. Some parts have really thick scabs on it. And I, I honestly don't know what to say. I, I don't know how this is going to look in the end. A little nervous to see, honestly, especially since she seems so adamant that it's going to look bad. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed with this experience. I created this video thinking that I was going to say that getting a tattoo in Mexico is pretty much the same in the US. You might get it a little cheaper, but it's a great experience just like I think getting dentist work or going to the doctor or having, you know, various services like haircuts or whatever, you can get just as high quality as you would in the US. In this case, I don't think that's the case for all tattoo artists in Mexico, but this has been a really negative experience. So after all this was said and done, would I get another tattoo in Mexico? Yes. Would I go to a different artist? Probably. Would I get it on my foot again? Eh, I would have to think long and hard about that. So be sure to subscribe because next week I will be going to the hospital to get my foot amputated. Just kidding, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> no, be sure to subscribe because in a few weeks I'm gonna be going back to Mexico City to make a couple more awesome videos that I think you're really going to love. In the meantime, on the screen here is a video I made last week where I spoke all Spanish for a day, a collab I did with these guys in Mexico City. And one more thing. Gong that bell so you get notified when I release a new video and I will see you there.